Hey everyone, my name is Jamie Lee. Welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for watching this video today. Now today we are going to be looking at a brand new, at least new to me, online brand that I am stalked by on TikTok, which is Cider. Now, if you are on TikTok really often and you watch basically any fashion content, it seems like Cider is everywhere. Like everybody is getting the ads for it. A lot of people have purchased stuff from it. I hadn't personally seen any really good reviews yet, any really comprehensive ones. I'd seen a couple like, oh, I tried it on. This is what it looks like, but not a review of like, did it feel good? Was it good quality? Are you happy for the price that you paid? So I wanted to do that today. Now I would consider Cider so far first impressions to be sort of Shein-like in the sense that it's like, I assume they just drop ship a bunch of clothing from other manufacturers, mostly Asian manufacturers based on what I've seen so far. They just have like a ton of selection. However, whereas Shein has literally everything, like you can find super, super weird stuff. You can find really cute stuff. Cider seems to be kind of almost boutique-like in what they select. Like they really have a particular vibe and they only buy stuff and have things available that kind of go into that vibe. So like corsets, cute flowy dresses, um, kind of like a cottage corey ethereal vibe. And then they also have some more like what I would consider to be like Gen Z aesthetic with like the really big wide leg jeans, like crop tops, stuff that I also really like, but that I know from following a lot of people who are very Gen Z on TikTok, they tend to wear a lot of that stuff. So I kept seeing these ads for cider. I finally decided I would buy them on a day when everything was on sale for $10 US, which is $13 at the time Canadian. So literally every single thing I'm going to show you today costs $13 and two cents, everything, which is crazy. I got a lot of stuff. I ended up paying like $120 Canadian total. I did not pay duties on this and it didn't take that long to arrive. I would say maybe two weeks, which I don't think is unreasonable. Once again, we're in the height of the pandemic. I actually ordered and received this stuff just before Christmas, but it has taken me forever to get around to filming this. So we're finally doing it today. A big part of it was I was nervous about this dress. So I figured why not just start out with this dress. Now, this is part of the reason why I even paid attention to Cider to begin with. Now, if you watched a lot of movies in the 2000s, you might recognize this dress as the one that Jenna wears in 13 Going on 30. Now, obviously, <laughs> hers was a little bit nicer, a little higher quality than this one, but in terms of like the overall like feel of this dress, it's the same, like it, this is the dress. I had to have it. Like I said, it cost $13, so very, very cheap. I was nervous it was going to be absolutely atrocious. I actually really, really like it. Now, obviously on me, I got this in a size medium and a lot of like Asian retailers tend to have what I would consider to be on the smaller size of sizing compared to North American brands. My boobs look insane. They definitely look a little crazy. I do have pasties on. So if you see at some point something shiny poking out, that's what it is. I'm not flashing you, I promise. Now this obviously does have the little cutout here. It also has like kind of a light blue elastic piece on the outside of the cutout. On me, it just keeps flipping under and like going underneath my boobs. If you were a little bit flatter, I don't think that would be a problem. On me, that's just gonna happen. I can't prevent it unless I used like some double-sided tape. The dress itself is super, super thin. This is just a thin, super cheap material. This is just elastic for the straps, which does actually make it very comfortable because like they're very stretchy. They're not pulling on anything. The back does not carry the print forward. So really I think this dress is cuter from the front than it is from the back, but at least it's still like this nice baby blue color. And then as you can see, it is extraordinarily short. 
I am five foot one. This is barely passable for me. Now, obviously I do have a bit of a bigger butt. So if you were a little flatter, it might lay a little flatter back here, but it's very, very short. <laughs> if you are tall, you would almost certainly have to wear leggings or something under this or like tights because you would be flashing people 100%. Now I do really like the shape of this dress. I think it sits really, really nicely. I think it's very flattering. I do just wish it was a little bit longer, but for $13, I can't be mad at it. Like, I think it's very cute. I'm inclined to, you know, get my butterfly clips and do a little Jenna Rink photo shoot in this dress, but you'll have to let me know what you think. Do you like this? Do you not like it? I'm imagining this dress with a little pair of like purple heels a little purple or pink handbag. I think it would just be so adorable. I do really like it. All right, next up we have this little top, which some people who have watched previous videos might have seen because I did wear it briefly in a little airy video. It's just like this little black top that has, you know, ruffles and then buttons in the middle that are little tiny roses. I really, really like this. I think the little roses are adorable. And right now I'm not wearing a bra with this. I do think that it looks a little bit better with a bra just for a bit more structure. This is a thinner material, so you will be able to see if you get cold, but I do like this. It definitely feels cheap, like $13. I would not pay more than that for this top. So I think that so far that is something I would keep in mind if you're buying anything off of Cider. Definitely make sure you're getting stuff on sale. I would not want to pay full price for anything because a lot of the stuff is not the best quality, even though it is cute in most cases so far. Now, this little skirt is interesting and I like the idea of it, but I don't love the execution. So it just kind of sits at your waist. It's very, very ruched and then it has ruching in both the front and the back and then kind of a little ruffle at the bottom. And then at the back, the ruffling really makes it like kind of stuck into your butt, which I think is very cute. It's flattering. I imagine it would be great if you were like going out dancing because you'd have some movement, but it just slides up. Like it just wants to sit way up here and then like it's gonna slide all the way up and I will be flashing my entire butt at someone because this material is so like slippery. This is just like a very silky material. Other than for a photo, you could never wear this. You could not practically wear this skirt anywhere. Unless, like I said before, maybe if you had a very, very, very flat butt, maybe it would stay. But honestly, I imagine on just about anyone, this is gonna wanna pull up. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, <laughs> next up, I don't know that I would wear these things together. I actually got this purple skirt to go with a specific thing, which I'll show you in a minute, but I wanted to show off this little white corsety top first. Now this top is interesting because the back has no like clasps or anything. All the clasps are at the front and these are like bra clasps. There are probably like 20 of them all the way up the front. A little odd, but I do think that the top looks really good. It does have some boning in it. This is not going to like give you a real corset effect and like suck you in or anything, but I do think that the boning adds some structure to it and makes it look really nice. Now for $13, I actually really like this top. I definitely think that I will wear it. I think it's cute. I do think that this is actually really good quality for the price. And one thing that's very weird, and I'm gonna come up close, underneath here, there's nothing. There's not like a little extra anything to stop you from seeing through. So like, that's my skin in there. That's a little bit odd to me, but like I said, from a distance especially, you would never notice that and I think that it's very, very cute. I also like this style of like corsety top and let me pull this down a little. I like this style a lot where it kind of comes down in the middle. I just think it looks very flattering. I really like it. And overall, love this top. 
will wear it probably just with like jeans or like a leather legging or something but i do think it's really really nice now this purple skirt it's obviously supposed to be like a faux velvet like kind of material it is very cute i think in principle and i love the purple absolutely love the purple i love that it's soft and silky i think i will wear this despite its flaws and there are a few one once again it is too short people just don't wear skirts this short out unless they're like going clubbing at least on me and my body it's just it's far too short i couldn't wear it now the other thing and this is something that is very specific so i'm going to try my best to explain it when you have a waistband on something cheap when the waistband is like that thick elastic and it isn't sewn in anywhere so this waistband is not sewn in so it is flipping around so the actual elastic like flips so then you have to like lay it all back out flat it also for some reason disappears so like right now at the back you'll see that like the seam is much higher than at the front because the elastic is sitting like way down here because it's not sewn in. It's just like flipping around and like falling back into the fabric. That annoys me so much. I will have to sew in this elastic if I'm going to wear this because I cannot handle how annoying it is when it flips around like that. I'll, all day I'll just be doing this and trying to like fix it and get it flat again. But overall, if you just need like a really cute, fun, purple skirt you could get this one like there's nothing wrong with it there are a couple of things that i think would improve it but for 13 dollars, it's fine like it's a cute skirt and i will probably still wear it people will probably hate this but like this is actually the reason that i bought this purple skirt was so that i could have this obnoxious outfit that was like a pink checkerboard vest along with this bright purple skirt. I know that this will not be most people's thing, but I just loved like the combination of really bright colors. I thought it would be very cute. Now, unfortunately, there are a couple of things about this sweater vest that I think make it not that cute. One, it's scratchy and a little bit itchy, but it is nice and thick and warm. So if you were to like wear something underneath it, like I could see you wearing like a white t-shirt or like a white long sleeve underneath this. It would be very, very warm for the winter. It's also huge. <laughs> so I got this in a size small, but it is gigantic. And it's very, very stretchy. So it could be even bigger if you wanted it to be. <laughs> but I do think that it's nice, like for the $13 price tag, the thickness of it makes me think that it is probably worth that much to me. I don't know how often I'll wear it because I've honestly reached for it a few times since I bought it and tried it on with stuff and I'm just like, eh, like I could wear it but I have cuter other sweaters that I could just wear instead. So if you know a way that you would style this and wear it, let me know and I'm happy to try it out. Now for this top, I just threw on a pair of jeans that I have from American Eagle. I <laughs> love this top. I don't know how often I will have the opportunity to wear it because it kind of feels like a like going out to dinner, you know, going to have some drinks with friends type of top. And we're obviously still in the middle of the pandemic, but I love it. <laughs> I think it's so cute. It's like this faux crocodile print almost in like this brown color. And then of course, has the zipper in the middle. I think that my boobs, once again, look great from the front, a little insane from the front. From the side, they look squashed uh, because they're busting out the top here, but I think that that's okay. Like, I kind of like that vibe. And then with just a pair of jeans, I think that this with like a cute little heel or a little boot is adorable. You could wear a little jacket over top for when you're cold. I love it. And once again, for $13, absolutely love, will wear this to death. I think it is so cute, especially like I said, with just like a cute pair of jeans. Now, lastly, I did also get these cute little heart earrings with cherries on them 
for Valentine's Day. I thought they were very cute to go with my Valentine's Day nails. And they were only like $5. I think $5 is actually kind of expensive for just like cheap plastic earrings. But you know when you already have like all this other stuff in your cart and you're like, what's five more dollars? That happened to me here. <laughs> and I do really like them. I've reached for them a few times since I got this order. I think that they're very, very cute. I will probably wear them on Valentine's Day too. And that is everything that I got from Cider. $115 worth of stuff. What do you think? Definitely let me know down in the comments below what was your favorite piece, what was your least favorite piece, do you think you would buy from Cider, should I buy from them again? Let me know. I would love to say I'll never buy from them again. I said that about Shein multiple times and yet I go back because I see something cute and then it's never quite as good as I expected. Now I will say most of these things were as expected or slightly better than expected. It's not like I didn't know what I was getting or I got things that were completely different than what was on the website. I think everything was fine. And like, I'm not mad about the quality or about anything that I received, but I don't know that it was good enough that I would go back versus, you know, investing slightly more money in like better stuff. Like I'm kind of at that point in my life where I'm like, yeah, I could get like 10 things for $120, but, or I could get like three or four really good things that are gonna last me a long time and that I'm gonna wear to death. And I, I lean towards that, I do. <laughs> so like I said, let me know what you think. If you have purchased anything from Cider, let me know how it was. I would love to hear from you. And as always, feel free to send me, you know, questions that you have about the brand or about sizing or anything. I'm happy to answer them. I will also include links to the things that I purchased down in the comments. Though I'm not 100% sure if this is anything like Shein where sometimes things just magically are no longer available. So I will do my best. If something's not available, I'll let you know. And with that said, I hope that you have an amazing and fantastic week and I will see you next time. Bye.